Hey, you guys. Good morning. I'm very excited to have Jada Pinkett Smith in the Hangout with us. What an awesome way to start the month and the week. Yes, yeah, uh, everyone. Pleasure to meet you and uh, these guys here in the Hangout from all over the world. That's how it works. The Google okay. Plus Hangout on air. We get to hang out with up to nine other people in the Hangout. But not only that, it's broadcast live to our YouTube channel. So anyone with a YouTube channel could be watching right okay, now. Nice. Yeah, so we want to say hello to Ayub, who is hanging out with us from England. He's hey. in Leicester. Hey. Chris is in Dallas with us this morning. Good morning. Hi there. Justin is morning. also in the UK. He's in Brighton. Hi. We've got Kim in Kansas City, Missouri. Hey. Renzo is in Venezuela. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hair hello. is in Virginia this morning. Okay. Hi. Stacy and her husband John, they are in Wilmington, North Carolina. Hi. And their little ones. Oh my God, he just walked across the <laughs> back with little ones. That is so, so cute. cute. So cute. Oh, we've got Stormy, who's in Mississippi. Howdy. And uh, Timothy, who is up in the Bay Area. How are you? So I want to say hello to all of you watching on YouTube as well, YouTubers. Hey, you guys, if you have a question or a comment for Jada, just tag me or anyone in the Hangout and please share the link and like us. Thanks so much. <laughs> share it so that we can get the word out. And speaking of getting the word out, Jada's here to talk about Free Angela. It's a documentary, it's a film, yeah. that's uh, I think being released to some limited theaters yes. this weekend. So it's a documentary. If you, if you don't know about it, please explain. Um, this is about human trafficking. Oh, correct? no, 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 no. Free Angela is no? not Oh, no, it's not? <laughs> oh, I'm confused, I'm confused. Okay. No, this is, this is about uh, our iconic political activist uh, Angela Davis. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, no, it's okay, 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 yeah. And so this this is basically a documentary about how her political activism uh, started and how she became a political icon. Oh, okay. I yes. misunderstood. Okay, so this is coming out this weekend. Uh, it's coming out... Where, is this is Monday? It it's coming Monday. out the 5th. Yes. The 5th. Okay. Coming out the 5th, yes. Excellent. And you uh, produced it? Yes. Yes. Produced okay. it. Fantastic. If you guys have some questions for Jada, um, I will go to you for sure. But you are. I'm an Angela Davis pro. Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's what she's. No, exactly. The iconic Africa. The iconic right. Africa. Um, but I do want you to talk about um, your movement because on your website, I love your website, mm -hmm. and th th that's all there is there is that organization. Oh, you're talking about and uh, your Facebook don't page. Sell, don't talking sell. about Don't Sell Bodies, yes, which is yes. uh, uh, geared towards awareness about trafficking in mm -hmm. the United States and all over the world. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, so Don't Sell Bodies for human trafficking. Uh, let's get to some questions here. We've got Kim. Go ahead. What's your first question? <laughs> Good morning. I am a very big fan, have been one for a long time. And I have uh, a quick question about what prompted you to do this project and then a second one. If they did a Matrix, another Matrix movie, would you do it? <laughs> <laughs> and the romance thing between you and Morpheus. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, Shala brought this particular uh, piece to me but pretty much done and, and she needed more financing to finish the film and um, wanted distribution for the film as well and uh, after I watched the film I, I really I've always been an Angela Davis fan and first of all the movie um, there were lots of facts and lots of things that I, I thought I knew about Angela that I actually didn't and a lot of things about this, her story and what I found most riveting was it you know now we have uh, our, our African American president, but seeing uh, the path that uh, was made in order for us to have the America today is highly illuminated in this particular piece, and um, it's a really important. Uh, piece of American history. Most mm -hmm. people will try to limit it as African American history or black history because a black woman is at the center of, of this particular piece, but it's actually an astounding piece of world history as well. You will see in this movie how the world uh, came in defense of, of Angela Davis um, and the ideal for freedom and justice. So uh, I just felt like it was a um, important piece to support in homage to Angela Davis herself and in homage to uh, the great changes that Americans have made mm -hmm. here in America. Just a really quick uh, backstory on Angela. She 
can you go back to how this all began for her and, and becoming that political activist? Well, I know she was a professor. She was a professor, professor at UCLA, um, and she was asked to be. She was released from uh, being a professor at, UC, at UCLA because of some of her political beliefs, because she was a, a communist. And um, from there, she was targeted. Uh, mm -hmm. Lots of threats made uh, against her, and um, she purchased several guns uh, for her own protection. And these guns ended up being a part of uh, a, a part of a um, uh, what was considered a terrorist terrorist mm -hmm. act uh, mm -hmm. in this in this courtroom. And so um, she then fled and and was captured and was put uh, on trial. Uh, for the murders that happened uh, in this courtroom oh because gosh, her guns, yes. these guns were in her name. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is basically what the transpired. The, yeah, transpired. Okay, I know that you guys have more questions, so I'm going to uh, go to Ayub. Yes, go ahead. Well, my, my question was um, something that Kim already covered, so I've been thinking about a different question. Uh, the main thing was what in what do you find most inspiration about inspiration uh, rather what inspired you to start the um, campaign the don't sell bodies oh where did, you, where did that come from did um my my daughter she she came to me and um, she said to me mom there are girls in in our country that are being sold for sex at my age and of course my ignorance I'm like that doesn't happen here in the United States mm -hmm. what are you talking about and as I started to do more research I, I was shocked that A, I had no idea that uh, d sex trafficking and in, in, in the capacity in mm -hmm. which it is happening here in the United States and I was I was floored and so um, from then on uh, I just became really obsessed mm -hmm. <laughs> with um, you know making sure that we had the laws in place to protect young men and young women um, from the atrocities of sex trafficking. Your children are amazing Thank by the you. way. I mean obviously a reflection of you and your husband and the family. Did you try to discourage them at all in any way from show business or did you oh, just absolutely not. No, no, no. I, I, I don't believe in um, you have to allow people um, and I feel as though we have to allow our children to find their way. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like uh, if my child has a desire um, that she wants to explore, any of my children, my boys as well, um, as long as it's not, mm -hmm. you know, Get death. Getting away. Yeah. <laughs> As long as it's not life or death, mm -hmm. I'm going to pretty much let them experience as much of life as, yeah. as they want. Right, and so right. for them to discover their own truths. I know there's a new movie coming out with um, your husband and Jaden. Jaden. Yes, June yes, 7th, that's I believe. Coming up this it's called summer. Annie. A E. Annie. A E. <laughs> Speaking of your, uh, your television show. Yes. Um, Coming back? No, Hawthorne no, no, was Hawthorne released was, oh, a couple years ago. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Are you looking for another project for television, perhaps? Um, you know what? I'm doing a lot of producing right now. Mm -hmm. Producing, a, we're producing the Queen Latifah uh, talk show as oh, well. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes. yes. Um, have a couple of movies that we're producing. I'm, I'm kind of enjoying <laughs> pro uh, producing. Yes. I, I might get in front of the camera. There's a there's a film I'm very interested in that I might be filming in Colombia. Oh, fantastic. So I might be getting in front of the camera. Sahar, yes, go ahead. What's your question? Uh, hi, Jada. How's it going? Hi. Uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, has this uh, has this documentary prompted you to start any campaigns or are we going to see anything, uh, any movements in the future that you might be hosting or, or leading? Uh, campaigns in regards to having a voice for the voiceless or oh sorry human trafficking oh human trafficking campaigns oh yes I've, I've, I've had several of them um, here in, in Los Angeles and we just helped to uh, get our um, reinstate the um, uh, trafficking Victims Protection Act, uh, Victims Protection Act as well um, on a federal level. We just had those laws uh, 
You're not signed bu- again. You're not busy enough, are you? Oh, you no, no. <laughs> I, I'm very busy. So that was, that's world. been our no. last, that was our last piece that we just, uh, just finished. But yes, we will definitely be having quite a few more campaigns in regards to sex trafficking. Um, Stormy, you had a question? That uh, sex trafficking, human trafficking seems so far removed from our everyday lives. What is something that we can do uh, to make a difference? You know, I, I always tell people first and foremost to get educated because just like you said it seems so distant and I think the more we get educated we recognize it's not (laughs) you know and so uh, I I tell everyone that once you get educated I would start to tell 10 people a day about sex trafficking or and labor trafficking. Are we just talking about um, you know prostitution and and like see there's there's a a stereotype that we have and I, I we're a little bit uneducated. You're right. Absolutely. But what is it that do we just see that amongst our well, our I want daily you to, life, and we not recognizing absolutely. it? Absolutely. I, I want you to think about uh, the, the 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 difficulty with sex trafficking and even labor trafficking is because it's a new kind of slavery with no mm-hmm. change. Mm-hmm. We're talking about psychological slavery, and I think the closest that we've understood it, and she wasn't actually trafficked but she was held on with the same kind of psychology mm. that these young girls and boys uh the same psychology that's used to enslave them and that's elizabeth smart if we mm, remember yes, the elizabeth yes. smart story mm. um and how mm-hmm. she was abducted mm-hmm. and kept in this house mm-hmm. not far from where she lived yes. and was taken out mm-hmm. on the street mm-hmm. and with this person that had captured her mm-hmm. and still didn't feel like she had the freedom to go, hey, help me. I'm not supposed to be here. So it's these kinds of chains, these kinds of psychological enslavement, uh, the psychological enslavement that these young girls and these young boys are are experiencing from adults um, that may be able to prey on their psychological weaknesses, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. okay, and to force them to do things uh, that that's against their will. Oh, my gosh. Uh- Michael, did you have a question as well? I did. Um, taking a shift from trafficking, um, yes. I hear you say you're doing a lot more producing. Like, what about producing are you liking? Because I see a lot of actors do that. They go into producing. What is like? What do you like about it? I think what I like about it is is the creativity. Is that you have a, a lot more creative influence behind the cameras, uh, and and I've done being in front of the camera and behind the camera at the same time and it's it's very difficult for me to do both and I just love uh, being behind the camera and and creating and being able to put together a whole picture uh, from behind the camera versus playing a role or a piece um, in, in someone else's painting. I enjoy that too, but I'm really enjoying producing. We enjoy your music as well. I'm so sorry that I have to let Jada go, you guys. I just I just have to ask one last question. Have you thought about running for office or any kind of political <laughs> public um, service? Because you are so good. I mean, you really have this... You're, you make me want to get more educated. Wow, you thank make you. make me want to make a difference. I don't think I'll, I'm going to have a career in politics no? in that way. <laughs> no, not at all. No, seriously, though. But, uh, you know, life is long. You may change your mind. Jada, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you for having me. Thanks, you guys, uh, for the awesome questions. Will you take a quick photo with us before you go? Here's the camera here. Can you guys take a quick photo? Okay.